so much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Blippi! Wow! Look at where we are! We're in the frozen food aisle in a grocery store. <laughs> but look at what it is. Yeah, frozen raspberries. They're so sweet and high in vitamin C. I wonder how these raspberries got here. Wow, look at all of these raspberry bushes. And all of these raspberry bushes have raspberries on them. And this is the color raspberry red. Mmm, mmm, and it's so tasty. Well, since we're picking the, these to be frozen, we pick them at the perfect ripeness. And actually, we don't pick them, we shake them off with the harvester. Wow, we're in front of the harvester. See, and deep in there, it's shaking these bars like this. Da, 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 and so then the really ripe raspberries fall off into the harvester. Look! get shaken off the bushes, they arrive on these conveyor belts. So what do you do? I would get all the raspberries and pick off the bad ones. Whoa, like, oh, like this one, right? Perfect. Okay, put that there and say goodbye to this. Bye-bye. There she goes, picking off all the bad ones. Look at him and his tray. He passes it to the girl, and then she stacks them up. Good teamwork. Now that the harvester is really full, they have to pull up next to the truck and unload all of the raspberries. truck arrives to the facility and then the raspberries get taken off the truck with a forklift. Whoa, that forklift can carry a lot of raspberries. So the raspberries came from the farm and got transported from a truck. And then a forklift pulled it off of the truck and loaded it up right here. And so now, all of these raspberries are going to go into this cooler. Watch this. There they go into the cooler. Wee! Bye-bye! Hello. Now, this is basically a giant refrigerator. 
So then the raspberries get nice and cold super quick. Look, he's wearing nice warm clothes. Wow, that's a lot of raspberries. We're taking a weight of these raspberries, see? Okay, now that we have them all weighed up, we bring them over here. And this is where they get loaded up. Whoa! And then they get taken to the top. Wow! Look at those machines! Putting the raspberry on another belt. Ooh, then the raspberries go to the top, and then this machine flips the trays, and the raspberries come out of the trays. Wow, look at all the raspberries. See the trays go bye bye. So many conveyor belts! Wow! Those look so tasty! Hello, ladies! You're doing a mighty fine job! Now this room is where the raspberries get frozen! It is so cold in here! <laughs> Whoa, look at him! Now, all the raspberries are frozen, so we have to put them in boxes! All perfectly weighed out! Look at that! Whoa, look at all those boxes of raspberries! Wow! So the raspberries just finished getting packed up into these boxes. So then what we're doing is loading it to the back of a semi-truck. And the semi-truck is going to deliver it to the grocery store. So that's how the frozen raspberries got all the way to the grocery store. They grew on the bushes, really big and red. And then the harvester drove down the aisles of bushes and shook them off. And then they got packaged up in these plastic bags. And then they arrived here. Hey, I think we should go make a frozen raspberry smoothie together. Alright, now it's time to make a raspberry smoothie and a raspberry sandwich! Yum! Alright, so let's make a sandwich first. Alright. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Before you touch food, you have to wash your hands. Let's go wash our hands! <laughs> Alright, here we go. Get your hands nice and moist. Okay, whoa! Now you have to put soap on your hands, and then you scrub a dub dub. But I'll tell you the correct amount of time. All right? You have to say blippy, 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 and then you keep going faster and faster until you can't say it anymore. All right? Ready? Blippy, 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 blippy. <laughs> All right, whoa. Now you rinse the soap off your hands. All right, dry off your hands. I am so excited for the food that we're gonna make together. 
<laughs> All right, here we go. Let's get some bread for our sandwich. Ooh, the heel, yum. I'll save that one for someone else though. All right, there we go. <laughs> one slice of bread, two slices of bread. All right, there you go. All right, let's uh, start out with some peanut butter. Yum! Take a big scoop. I love peanut butter. Okay. <laughs> okay, slop it around. Oh yeah, look at that. Yum! Okay. And on this other side, oop, we are gonna put some raspberry jam. Mmm, this sandwich is gonna taste so good. <laughs> All right, take a big scoop of raspberry jam, plop it right there. <laughs> All right, spread it around. Oh, yum. Yum! All right, put it down. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> put the lid back on. All right, here we go. Let's cut it in half. All right, and let's cut it into quarters. Yum! Look at that. Whoa! <laughs> All right, let's uh, put this on a plate. All right, <laughs> one, two, three, four. Oh, yum. All right, you know what beverage would be so tasty with this raspberry sandwich? <sighs> yeah, a raspberry smoothie. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna teach you how to make one. First, we need to go get our milk, hold on. So, I have almond milk and normal milk. So let's put a little bit of almond milk in here. Perfect, that looks great. And let's put a little bit of normal milk in here. Ooh. Okay, perfect. <laughs> I spilt a little, look. <laughs> That's okay, we'll clean it up after. All right, and let's take a banana. Let's actually cut it in half because that's a lot of banana. I want more raspberries than banana, but I still do like banana. Bombs away! <laughs> All right, and wait, what are we missing here? Yeah, raspberries, okay. I need to go get them from the freezer. Yeah! Frozen raspberries! I use frozen raspberries because they're really good in here because then it makes it nice and cold and then it feels like little ice chunks. <laughs> All right, okay, how do we open this? There we go, all right. The correct amount is one handful. No, it's two handfuls. <laughs> yeah, there we go, yeah. <laughs> okay, there we go. And let's add a little bit of extra almond milk. Perfect. All right, let's put the lid on. <sighs> Give it a little shake. Now let's blend it on up. Wow, yum, that looks so tasty. Okay, I'm gonna get a glass. Perfect, yum. All right, let's pour a smoothie. 
Yum! All right, now it's time for the raspberry song. Raspberry, raz, raspberry. Raspberry, raz, raspberry. A tiny fruit, red and sweet, called a raspberry. Raspberry, raz, raspberry. Oh, grows on a plant loved by honey. Jam, juice, and pie filling. Raspberries, raz, raspberries, oh. A frozen treat on top of your ice cream. And they're full of vitamin C. Raspberries, I think they're very, very young. Raspberries, I love them very, very much. Raspberries. Hey, can you spell raspberry with me? Okay, here we go. R A S P B E R R Y. You did it! Great job! Come on, everybody, sing along with me. Raspberries, I think they're very, very. Yum! This food is so tasty! Well, I sure did have a blast learning with you about how raspberries go all the way from the farm to your tummy! <laughs> well, if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. You know my name, right? Yeah, it's Blippi. Let's spell it together. Ready? B-L-I P-P-I Blippi! Good job! Now you know how to say and spell my name. See you again! Bye bye So much to learn about It'll make you wanna shout Blippi! Woo! Look at this! This is a fire department helicopter toy. Ooh, and today, we're at the Los Angeles City Fire Department Air Operations. And let me tell you, I have a surprise for you. It's a real fire department helicopter! <laughs> I am so excited to learn about fire department helicopters today with you! Are you ready? Let's go! Okay, now let's check out the inside of the fire department helicopter. Come on! We have to open up the door. Whoa, do you see in here? This, yeah, is the cab of the helicopter. Come in here. Whoa, there's so many cool things in here. First, let me show you the cockpit. Whoa! Look up there! There's so many cool instruments, gadgets, radios. Whoa! 
<sighs> okay, for now, I'll show you the cab. Ooh, there's a lot of seats in here. See? I'm gonna go to this one. Whoa, hey, this seat has a seat belt. I'm gonna put it on. All right, buckle up. Ooh, you see, I'm in this seat, and there's another seat, there's another seat. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, yeah, five. You're sitting on it. <laughs> That's funny. Whoa, look at this. Look at this giant backpack. There's a bunch of medical supplies in here. Whoa. This is what they take down to the ground to help people. Whoa, look at this light. Ooh. <laughs> it's the color blue and it's shining on my face. So these light, lights are really dim. So then from there you can use your MVGs, your night vision goggles, and see at night so it doesn't blind you. Ooh. Whoa. This is a headset. Wow, you put it on your ears. And then, has a microphone right here. But I have to plug it in first. Check this out. Get ready, listen. Whoa, can you hear me? Oh, <laughs> I sound funny. I'm talking through the microphone right now. Whoa, flying in a helicopter. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'll, I'll show you more of that later. But for now, look at this. This, whoa, is a med deck. I can pull it out. It's nice and flat. Keeps the spine of the patients nice and flat. Okay, gotta put it back in here. Okay, there we go. Wow, it was so cool seeing the inside of the cap of the helicopter. Oh, so many cool things! Whoa! What's this? Bloody, this is our hook for our rescue hoist. Oh, a hook on the rescue... Wait, wait a second. Who are you? I'm Pilot Sharif. <laughs> what do you do? Well, today I'm the hoist operator on our air ambulance at the LAFD Air Operations. Oh, that's cool. Wait, what's in your hand? This is called a pendant. It's what controls our hook. You can lower and raise it with this controller here. Whoa! This is the controller of the hoist. Wow, can you show me all of this stuff I in sure, action? I sure can. Would you like to try our, our hot seat? This is how we rescue people who really aren't hurt on the ground. <gasps> and a, hot, a hot seat? I wonder what a hot seat is. Well, our hot seat oh, looks like a jacket. Go ahead and put your helmet on. Okay. And you already have safety glasses on, so yep. that works. <laughs> Look, I'm wearing a white helmet. This okay. works just like a jacket. And okay. it's a simple harness that allows us to bring you up into the helicopter safely Ooh. without falling through. Okay, so this is a harness that if I'm on the ground, you hoist down, or someone hoist down, to come save me, right? That's right, and they'll help you put this on just like this. Okay. And they'll connect you to the hook once you get down on the ground. Okay. They'll lower the hook down to you, and then we'll connect it. Whoa. And when you're ready, we'll bring you up. Okay. okay. I'm ready. Here we go. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, it's like I'm flying! We'll bring you all the way up to the helicopter. Okay. We'll bring you in, and then we'll be safe. Oh, cool! Fly away. Well, thank you so much for showing me this. Oh, you're welcome. All right. It was nice to meet you, Blippi. Nice to meet you, too. <laughs> wow, this is so much fun! <laughs> hey! Wait! Hey! Wait a second! Come back! I'm stuck! Hey! Hello! Hey! Oh no! <laughs> the cockpit while the tug tugs the helicopter. <laughs>
riding the helicopter. Okay, just to let you know, helicopters are at airports. And also, airplanes are at airports. And if there's ever a problem at an airport, they have a big truck called a foam truck. Oh, hey, look, there's a foam truck right over there. Do you see it? Yeah. Okay, so what foam trucks do are they spray foam and water out the front just in case if there's ever anything at the airport, like a fire. So what we're going to do is show you it spraying water out of the turret. See? There's the first turret. Whoa! That's so powerful. Are you ready for the second turret? All right, here we go. One turret, and there's two turrets. Whoa, look at all the water. parts of the helicopter. Wow, what a big machine. Oh, hey, up here, this is the cockpit. This is where the pilot and the co-pilot sit. So then they fly the helicopter. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> and back here, this is the cab. Yeah, this is where all the passengers sit. And this helicopter is so big that 14 people can be inside here. 14? That is so many people. Whoa. Oh, look at this. This is a spotlight. Ready? <laughs> yeah, also known as the night sun. This is used to shine so that anyone can, everyone can see everything at night. Whoa, so bright. Ooh, and back here, these, this is a water tank. And you fill it up right here. Grab the hose. Bring on the water. 
then this fills up with water, and then from there you fly over things. <laughs> and you pour water on things, like fires, so then you can save people. Wow, what a cool machine. Let's see what else there is, come on. Whoa, look down there. Wait a second, what's this doing here? Huh, you know how some helicopters have landing skids? This helicopter has wheels and tires. Wow, that is so interesting. Huh, cool. Ooh. Whoa, wait a second. You've seen this before, right? Yeah, this is a number. Yeah, one, two, three. The number three. Wow. Oh, let's open this up. Uh, whoa. Check it out. That's a cargo compartment. It's pretty dark in there. <laughs> Come on. Oh, hey. Los Angeles Fire Department. Huh, they're pretty cool. Ooh. Wow, this is a horizontal stabilizer fin. It keeps the helicopter stable. Oh, whoa. whoa, look up there. That's the tail rotor. Whoa, it's so high up there. And this, it looks pretty big, but in reality, that's the smaller rotor. But this one, the main rotor, come here. It is so big. Do you see it up there? Whoa, this main rotor has five blades. One, two, three, four, five. Good job. Whoa, it's so high up there. Oh, <laughs> anyways, I was just trying to touch it. <laughs> Whoa, look at this! The exhaust! <laughs> All the exhaust from the jet engine gets pushed out of there. Wait a second, I just said jet engine. Yeah, look! Whoa, that's the jet engine. There's two of them on this helicopter, one on this side, and one on the other. This is where it produces all of its power. And one of the places that it uses its power is the transmission. Whoa, that is so cool looking up there. Oh hey, look at this. You see right here? This is where you refuel the helicopter. We won't mess with that. Okay, let's see what else we have here. Ooh. Check out my sweet dance moves. <laughs> okay, anyways, look at this. This is the hoist. Whoa, it goes down. Yeah, about 300 feet roughly. <laughs> that is so much. So then it can save people by going. <laughs> Thanks so much for learning about the exterior parts of the helicopter with me. Helicopter song. It can fight forest fires from the sky. It can stop those flames from getting too high. It can save the trees, save your home. It can even save your life. It's a firefighting helicopter, fighting fires from above the ground. A firefighting helicopter, on a mission to put those fires out. Lots of water when it flies, lakes and rivers are its water supply, and hovers above. 
videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? All right, ready? B-L-I, P-P-I, Blippi. Good job. All right, bye-bye. So much to learn about, it'll make you want to shout, Blippi. Hey, it's me, Blippi. And today, I'm at the Phoenix Zoo. In Phoenix, Arizona. Hey, I think you and I should learn about some animals today. Let's go. Whoa. Do you see that? That is a howler monkey. Yeah. Do you see it? Yeah, right there. That is Bilbo, named after Bilbo Baggins. <laughs> That's funny. Let's act like monkeys together. That's Lulu the rhinoceros. And Lulu is 21 years old. <laughs> yeah, Lulu, party! Yeah! <laughs> That's a toucan. Did you see its big beak? Kind of looks like a banana. Let's check out another animal. Oh, whoa. Look at this. Do you know what animal this is? Yeah, this is a tiger. Whoa, hello, kitty. <laughs> whoa, come over here. Turn around. Whoa. This is where the tigers live. Hey, and look at who it is over here. Looks like we're getting ready to do some training. See that? The tiger is doing exactly what he's saying. It looks like they're having so much fun. Target. Target. Ooh, that was really cool. Did you see that? Hey, will you tell us why we just did that? 
Yeah, so uh, we train our animals so that um, they have the opportunity to make things easier for them and the staff. Ooh. So we don't train our animals to do tricks, um, we do what we call behaviors. So for example, when I was having Jay target his nose to the end of this pole, um, it allowed me to move him to different positions so I could de see different parts of his body. Um, having him stand up is not only impressive to see how big a tiger is, um, but it gives me the chance to see his underside. Because just like us, they can get injuries like cuts and bruises. So it lets me check up on his body to make sure he's still feeling good. Ooh, well thank you so much for showing me what you just showed me. You're very welcome. All right, see you later. Thanks. <laughs> let's go see some more stuff. Do you see that animal? It's another cat. This is a jaguar. Whoa. I have a pail of carrots and some tongs. And we just got told we need to feed the next animal. Come on. Ooh. Hey, check it out. These are cables that you have to be on this side of them. But we just got permission to head inside so we can feed the animals. Let's go. Okay, this is a short barrier. Interesting. That wasn't too hard to get in. Oh, I see the animal, look. Uh, let's go through the trees. Whoa, hey look, look at the animal. We get a feed, check it out. Whoa, do you know what kind of animal this is? This is a tortoise. Let's feed the tortoises, yeah. Check this out, this is a carrot and I'm using tongs because tortoises have really strong jaws. It might bite my finger off. Here you go. Whoa, oh, whoops, it slipped. <laughs> Here you go. Whoa, okay, would you like a little bit more? Yeah, okay, here you go. Oh, there you go. Whoa. This tortoise is about 550 pounds. Whoa, that is really heavy. Hey, and guess how old he is. Oh, he's 66 years old. Oh, that's really old. Oh, hello. Hey, check this out. I'll pet this tortoise's head. Hello, how are you? Whoa! Whoa! Look! The tortoise is off the ground. Do you see that? Because that allows for all the bugs and everything to get away from its underneath area. Whoa! Okay, let's go get some more carrots. Whoa! Hello! How are you doing? Are you having a good day? Ooh, check it out! See this tortoise? This tortoise is a Galapagos tortoise, and it's a female. Oh, oh, there you go. Oh, and here comes the male. Whoa, do you see how big he is? Oh, I'm getting trapped. Okay, I'm gonna loop right around here. See how this one's a little smaller? And this one is bigger? Whoa! This is a female, and this is a male. Whoa! Hey, do you two like each other? Yeah, you two look like your friends. <laughs> oh, would you like some more? Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Good job. Oh, you dropped it. <laughs> hey, come a little closer. Okay, here you go. 
All right. Eee, open wide. Here comes the carrot. Whoa. There you go. Is that yummy? Hey. Tortoises like carrots just like how I do. And carrots are nice and healthy. There you go. Whoa. You have a big mouth. <laughs> Whoa, look, I'm giving this tortoise a scratch. See, how does that feel? Does that feel good? Yeah. yeah. Do you see how the tortoise is standing on its legs really high in the air? In the wild, they do this because a lot of times they have bugs underneath them. And this allows for the finches, which are birds, go, go, to fly underneath there and then eat all of the bugs underneath this tortoise. Yeah, but for now, he's standing on his legs because this feels really good. It's kind of like when a grown-up gives you a back scratch. Yeah, I like when my mom gives me a back scratch. Yeah, how does this feel? You like that? Yeah. <laughs> okay, my turn. Okay. My turn. I'm ready. I'm ready. Oh no. Ooh, check this out. This is an armadillo. Okay, here you go. Run free. Oh, look. An armadillo is one of the ambassador animals at the zoo. That means it's an animal that you can meet face to face. Whoa, hey, what are you doing? You want a treat? Armadillos love mealworms. Here you go, uh-oh. Hey, come right over here. There you go. Look, doesn't this armadillo look hard? Yeah, it is kind of hard. And it's not a shell. It's bone inside the armadillo's skin. Whoa, <laughs> okay. Ooh, this is Princess Buttercup. Ooh, all right, here you go. Here you go, Princess Buttercup. Ooh, look at Princess Buttercup's pretty little nails. Whoa, okay, run free. Animal. What kind of animal is this? This is an Indian crested porcupine. Whoa! Look at all of its spines. Are those spines? The big ones are just to make her look scary, but the dangerous ones are down by her tail. Oh, okay, down there. Whoa. And what is she doing right now? We're just enjoying some snacks. Ooh. She likes a lot of plants, so we've got her some biscuits, some yam, and some apple today. Ooh, that sounds pretty tasty, actually. Ooh. Let's take a closer look at the porcupine. Wow, you don't want to touch this animal on its tail. <laughs> This next area is really cool. Whoa, do you hear that? All these things are working really hard to keep this next area exactly like how the ocean is. Come here. Whoa, look at it. Whoa, there's so many filters and, and other things. It's so cool. Okay, come over here. Let me show you what it's doing. Yeah, this is Stingray Bay, and they're training the stingrays to do some pretty cool tricks. If you come to this zoo, you can use a flat, gentle hand and touch the stingrays on their back. But they're letting me go inside. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay, first, 
I need to take off my shoes. One shoe. Whoa, two shoes. Okay, let's put those there. Can't forget about the socks because I'm gonna put these on. Whoa, they're like water socks or water shoes. Okay, let's put them on. All right, okay, okay. <laughs> I'm ready, here we go. You have to be nice and smooth and slow so you don't scare them. Oh, oh the water's nice and cold. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. What's your name? My name is Mary, and this is Kelsey. We work here at the Phoenix Zoo. Woo! So what are you doing right now? So right now we're giving breakfast to our stingrays, and we're checking them to make sure everybody's healthy and happy this morning. Ooh, that sounds like fun. Can I help? Sure. Would you like to feed some? Ooh, yeah. Let's feed the stingrays. Okay. So look at them. They have shrimp and smelt, so you can take a Ooh. couple and you can put it in your hand. Okay, check out the food. Whoa, it looks so tasty. Okay, I put it in my hand. You're gonna hold it like an ice cream cone. Okay, ooh, I like ice cream. <laughs> okay, just like that. Put it nice and deep into the water. They're gonna swim over your hand and they're gonna suck it out of your hand like a vacuum. Okay. Okay, here you go. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Look at that one. So you've got a uh, blue spotted ribbon tail sitting on your feet. <laughs> okay. Do I go deeper in the water? Let's see what we can do. Oh, there Come you on, go. guys. Oh, I did it! Look, it's gone. <laughs> it sucked it right out of my hand. Can I do it again? You can't. Can oh. oh, thank you. <laughs> they suck the food right out of my hand. It's kind of like, have you ever put a vacuum on your hand and then the vacuum sucks on your hand? That's kind of how it feels like when it's sucking the food out of your hand. Whoa, <laughs> that one just swam through my legs. <laughs> Whoa, look at them. So they're getting used to you now. So they can yeah. feel who you are by your heartbeat. Okay. They're understanding that you're not gonna hurt them and so they're coming closer and closer. As they're getting more and more comfortable with you. Yep. Look at him. Hello. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that scared me. What happened there? They just got a little bit excited. Okay. Excited, not scared? Yeah. Okay. Because I kind of got scared. <laughs> but that's okay. They kind of seem really gentle. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. There they go again. <laughs> Look at how wet I'm getting. <laughs> All right, let's feed some more. Hello, look at all these stingrays. Whoa. <laughs> all right, bye-bye stingrays. Ooh, now we're gonna take a camel ride. <laughs> Have fun, Flippy. Thank you. Look, this is the top of the camel. See the hump? I'm gonna sit on top of it. Whoa! Now I'm on top of a camel. Okay, here we go. Check it out, whee! I'm on the hump of the camel. Whoa, this is a nice camel. This is a dromedary camel. It's really high up here. Whoa, <laughs> I'm having so much fun. <laughs> Wee! hello. the hump of the camel, they store fat in here. And they can actually go about seven months without eating food. 
or three to four weeks without drinking any water. That's pretty impressive, huh? Whoa! Whee! <laughs> Whoa! some pretty long legs, huh? And it has four legs. And you and I have two. Whoa. All right, this is pretty fun. Whoa, <laughs> that was awesome. Thank you very much. Yeah, you're welcome. All right, okay, let's go see some more animals. Ooh, now we're behind the scenes of the Native Arizona exhibit. Ooh, check it out. Look, some tools. Hey, what does this look like? Kind of looks like a golf club. <laughs> but actually, see how it has a hook? It's used to handle certain types of reptiles, like a snake. Okay, but I'm not gonna use that because I'm not a trained professional. Ooh, check it out. Wow, some aquariums. <laughs> the fish are on the other side. We're behind the scenes. Whoa, look at this room. Whoa, this is a box. And this is where a snake lives. Let's read what kind it is. Rattlesnake. Venomous? <gasps> oh, okay, I don't think I should handle that one. Cause like I said, I'm not a trained professional. <laughs> Let's find a snake that I can handle. Oh, this room's pretty cool. Whoa, there's so many cages right here. Whoa, what are these? These are snake sheds. Wow, every snake sheds its skin every couple months. Look at that, and they're all in one piece. Look, doesn't that look like a snake? Yeah, that's pretty cool, huh? Okay, okay. I'll keep these right here. Okay. Yeah, this one looks like a good snake to handle. I'm handling a snake. Whoa, and look at the color of this snake. It's orange and white and black. Whoa. I used to be afraid of snakes when I was a child, but now I'm not. But some snakes you definitely don't want to hold. So if you ever see a snake in the wild, just to be safe, you probably shouldn't try and hold it like this. Okay, whoa! Look, are you having fun, snake? Whee! Hello! Hey! Whoa, look at it! Whoa! It's so intrigued with the camera! Whoa! This is awesome. We're behind the scenes of another reptile area. Whoa, there's so many cool tanks in here with so many unique creatures. Whoa. <laughs> hey, whoa, look right here. Oh, hey, there's someone over here. Come here. Whoa, hey, what are you doing? Just getting ready to check out one of our horned lizards. Did you want to hold him? Yeah, a horned lizard, that's cool. Okay. Okay, thank you. Whoa, look! This is a horned lizard. Check out its horns. Wow. <laughs> He's so cute. Oh, and he's just hanging out. <laughs> okay, well, thank you very much. You're welcome. Okay, there you go. That was awesome. Good job. Let's go. Ooh, 
Look, a tall giraffe. Whoa, it's like my height. Hello, hello. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. A lion? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ooh, an elephant. <laughs> Whoa, look! <laughs> this is a gorilla. <laughs> and some snakes? Yeah, I gotta hold a snake. Whoa. Isn't that cool? Whoa! <laughs> Whoa, there's so many cool things in here. Okay, follow me. Ooh, there's even a dinosaur, a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Interesting. Well, hey, that was so much fun learning about animals with you at the zoo. This is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> Ready? B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Blippi. Good job. All right. See you later. Blippi.